The STEM sector continues to create innovative solutions for the future worldwide. It is with this in mind that the Germany Academic Exchange Service held a conference today so as to encourage young people to have an interest in the field. Gladys Mosomtai is one of the participants at the event. The 30-year-old is a PhD fellow at the International Center for Insect Physiology and Ecology, ICP. She is currently conducting her research on the influence of landscape structure to coffee pests and diseases. I really got exposed at a very early age, immediately after campus, to research and come firsthand with a globally recognized scientist. I was within an environment of PhD students at the time. And I remember while I was still an intern, I would help out in PhD uh, students who need help in my field of expertise, which is uh, geospatial information systems. The second born in a family of four has a master's in geospatial information science from the Dedan Kimadi University. We have very few women, and even at my institution as it is right now, if you look around how many senior scientists who are women or principal scientists, there are very few. I can mention, can, you know, top two, three come top of my head, and among us, the many who are male. So that's really a reflection of what is going on in other research institutions. Even though she has defined all odds to compete favorably in a male-dominated field, Mosom Tai acknowledges that she has encountered her fair share of challenges. She says for a woman to succeed in STEM, she must be hardworking, disciplined and ready to read widely. There's a time you like completely 100%, you work up to late hours, you know, those you burning your midnight candle. You have to do those things to be very, to come at the top of the game. So far, Musum Tai has co-authored over 10 publications in peer review journal and scooped the L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science 2018. So they need to believe in themselves and to just have to have that change of mind that science is a rocket science. No wonder they call it rocket science. But it's, it's, it's really possible to have that access and potential. And there are so many opportunities there as a scientist. The conference, dubbed Young Scholars in Africa, is geared towards promoting young students to becoming scientists, lecturers and researchers of tomorrow. For our organization, this is the DNA. We believe in internationalization because we believe in an open society. And as Mosum Tai participates in the three-day conference, she can only hope to inspire young women to join STEM by sharing her story, mentoring young girls, and in the end, break the glass ceiling in her career. Victor Wanaswa Switch TV.